What is going on, Collective? Uh, it's your boy, Adam Ra. Welcome to my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, yeah, I, um, it's, it's been a wild couple of days, man. It's been, it's been a wild couple of days. Um, I did have uh, a couple of dreams, you know. I had a couple of visitors. I had some dreams. I quite, I've been getting a, quite a few visitors lately, and it's weird. I normally don't get this many visitors, you know. It is what it is, though. There's a lot of shit going on. Right? Alright, so. First and foremost, I had a, uh, I had a couple of dreams. I think one of the dreams, it was like, uh, I think I was like going somewhere or something like that. Or I was in the middle of like this, this, this neighborhood. I've seen the neighborhood before. Cause it seemed like I got lost in this neighborhood before or something like that. But it's, it was like an urban area, pretty much dark at night. Everybody's gone, um, you know, and I was supposed to be just passing through, but I got out of my, me, it was me and well, basically my spiritual self, we was riding through and then we got out the car. And when we got out the car, uh, I guess the truck, the car broke down or something. Like, I was driving the car. This, the other half of me was driving the car, too. It broke down. Um, I don't know if I walked or something like that. Next thing I know, the car was gone, right? So, the whole dream was about me looking around for a car, right? Well, almost, you know. But one thing that I noticed was that the spiritual aspect of me had grown from the side that it normally, from the size that it normally is. So, um... Whether this is if it you know resonate with you or not, but um, there's definitely some spiritual growth that happens here, especially when um, I don't know if somebody was you know working on against you as well, trying to keep you from uh, growing and expanding and all that other shit. Well, I'm just gonna let you know I've ripped that. Uh, some spiritual growth took place here. It looks like um, I don't know. It had something to do with like. Like, um, I will, I will have to say like the other half of me is like younger. Okay. And, and this enormous, it's like, it was a conscious side and a subconscious side. The conscience, I was the conscious aspect of course. And then there's like a subconscious side, right? The subconscious side, it was like, normally it would be like real young. You know what I'm saying? But I noticed that it looked like my little brother. So it gave me the vibe that I don't know, like, I don't know, it's been, it's weird. Cause like anytime I have dreams where it's like, uh, you know, stuff like this, it's always like, um, you know, me and this, this other half. I know it's not my brother, but it's like, it's weird, right? But what happened was this this uh other half of me was was older it was a lot older than what what i you know what, what it normally be normally it's like a little boy you know what i'm saying or like a little kid i'm thinking maybe this is like a spiritual son or something like that that i have or a spiritual uh, that's what i'm thinking like a spiritual like a tie with like a spiritual son or something like that because I noticed that when I had to fight, for, when I had to fight, it was like there was a lot of, uh, when I had to uh, protect this other half, it always ended up being like a little kid, like a, like a little kid, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, yeah, I saw that out here, and then uh, also, I don't know if you guys uh, remember a dream that I told you about, about, uh, something about my cousin or something like that coming in right i'm guessing like a lot of the the people who have uh who are like in my spiritual soul group or something maybe when they appear in my dream i'm guessing that they appear in people uh you know close as close to the energy that the people that are around me that i know you know and essentially what happened was um there was somebody from my soul group that came to visit me last night it was uh it was a female she was like my um cousin that's what she you know she projected herself as being like my cousin or something like that and once again 
I don't know if you guys remember the drink that I had before, but this this was the same energy that walked in on when I had that other dream um, about the puppeteering. Remember I t keep talking about the puppeteering dream or whatever? Well, this was the girl who walked in and caught this witch doing what she was doing. She came back last night, right? I don't know if she was trying to do like a, a sex spell or something like that. I really didn't get that vibe of a sex spell or anything like that. But there was like some, it was it was weird. It was like some weird shit going on. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I don't know. It was weird. Um, the vibe that I got with that dream though, It's kind of like whoever she was, she walked away with like two other people, basically, right? So this, you know, it's two different meanings that I got from this. This could definitely be like uh, the person that's been doing the spell work before. Maybe they got somebody else younger to do the spell work. And this person, uh, whoever they got to do it, the vibe that I got is that it's definitely somebody younger. And... Uh, they, the vibe that I get is that there's some kind of trying to uh, convince this person to do a certain part of the spell where it's like, a, I guess like a love spell or something like that where, you, and then, you know, they're astral projecting into my dreams to try to have, you know, try to have astral sex or whatever. But the girl who did it, she was only trying to see if I would be attracted to her for a setup later, you know, to set something up later is the vibe that I was getting here. That's a possibility here. But I didn't get that dark vibe energy from her. So um, the vibe that I really get is that um, there's going to be a lot of deceptive energies out here. There's going to be a lot of people like um, basically I'm at the point of the journey where somebody is going to request the help of somebody who has similar energy to mine. And they're going to try to keep me from being able to discern because this woman is getting ready to come in. This girl is getting ready to come in. I don't know who she is because she's younger than me. She, yeah, she's definitely younger than me. And not only is she younger than me, but I know that she's fake because I just had a dream about her a couple days ago. This is the same girl I just had a dream about a couple of days ago. But she wasn't the one that I was really attracted to. But it's some some kind of way, I was still like you know trying to fill on her, and you know I was in like this this uh this promiscuous energy essentially is what they you know was being projected like a a promiscuous energy where you like you know pretty much just want to have sex with everything, you know. And I've been picking that energy up all for the last I don't know for a while now, you know, because of the work that I do. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. You know, but um, essentially, I got a I got a feeling that they're getting somebody's getting ready to send a young a young female towards me, and this has to do this is it, it's gonna have something to do with like sex or uh, definitely a sex energy is the vibe that I'm getting here, right? Definitely has to do with like sex and uh, trying to I don't know if they're trying to. Uh, Harness the energy if they're trying to, if it's a block or what, but you know, it's, I bet you it's just something to get your emotions involved essentially. So I just pulled some cards on. Let's see what the ancestors have to say about it. Yeah, Page of Pentacles in reverse here. Yeah. So essentially, here there's definitely a blockage of a gift or something like that. Somebody's here trying to block an offer to, from coming your way, right? They're trying to stop some kind of, uh, not necessarily like a gift, but there's, the, yeah, basically that's the vibe that I get is like your ancestors just gave you a new gift, right? And whatever it is, they don't even want to find out what it is. They don't want you to be able to expand on it or whatever, whatever this is. And they're trying to block it ahead of time is what I'm trying to see here, what I see here. And because it looks like you're going to capitalize off of this or whatever, whatever this gift is that your ancestors is given trusting you with. It's gonna bring in some kind of will of fortune and ten of cup energy here, right? 
that's what's going to happen here. There's some Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cup energy out here that somebody doesn't want you to get a hold, get your hands on. And they're going to, so basically, they're going to uh, float around trying to make you fight with them or block block your energy in different kind of ways and stuff like that. Or make you even, even make you feel like you're blocked so that you'll get upset and try to fight with them in order to keep the cycle open. Because essentially what's going on now is that they are, um, the cycle is over. But it's only over if you, you know, you know, let it go, essentially. So this is the time to walk away from it. Uh, God is already taking his, God is already active in the situation. So you're going to notice, I don't know if you're dealing with the same kind of spiritual warfare I'm dealing with, but you're going to deal with uh, people who are going to uh, like uh, try to trigger you. It's going to be a lot of triggering energy because essentially what they're doing is they're trying to trigger you. They're going to try to come in and trigger you and trap that energy so that you're constantly stuck in this triggered energy. Essentially what's going on. So you'll constantly focus on them. And that right there is what they're trying to use as a doorway. But essentially that all doorways, doorways don't always lead to where you expect it to. Right? Especially if God closed the door. So we're, you're, you know, if this continues on, you're going to, we're all going to understand or realize or basically see why you can't open a door that God closes. Okay. And on my behalf and on their behalf or your behalf and their behalf everybody involved is getting ready to find out why you don't open a door that God closes okay this is what's going to happen right so you this nine of pinnacle energy here yeah so that's the vibe here is that uh, they're trying to block off something from coming to you they know that you have this will of fortune and that you're destined to have this happiness or something uh, of that nature here um, this family, these ten of cups, this blissful energy, this joy, okay? Everybody doesn't get this joy. Everybody doesn't get this bliss, okay? And what they're trying to do is trying to make it where you have nothing but ultimatums, where you have to choose between money and happiness. And then once you pick your money, they're going to try to attack your happiness and try to take different cups away. It's just somebody who is um, just not happy with their life. So they're just going around looking for petty things to try to steal or take from you or detriment from you or make you feel like they've taken or succeeded something from you because this is a game of belief at this point. That at this point, it's all about what you believe to be true. And that's why you have this Nine of Pentacles in reverse here. This Nine of Pentacles in reverse here has to do with somebody, whoever this person is, they're, they're, they're going into this phase of um, they opened up a door to be codependent on somebody or something like that so whoever this is they're losing money but they want you to be codependent essentially is what's going on here right you got this seven of seven of cups out here they want you to be uh codependent and then they don't want they want you to like uh basically uh, the vibe i'm getting here is that they want you to be easily distracted okay and that's where a lot of this energy is coming from, a lot of illusions and delusions and stuff like that. So they are using like tarot cards and stuff like that, tarot card readings to try to use that to uh, create spell work, you know? So you might have them going to like karmic people getting spell uh, readings and stuff done like that, or they could even be on this channel and they could be trying to manifest, get it, get trying to get this, like send dark energy towards you all day and then when you go get a reading about it, the stuff that you that's undesired that you don't want or whatever it may be, they may be trying to bring that into fruition when in reality it's just going to return back to center, right? Because God has a special, he has a special covering, a special veil, a, a special key for this door that they don't have. And somebody is still bitter about that. So, you know, just keep, just keep praying about it. Even if you think that they stop, just keep praying about it. And, uh, you know, let God continue to whoop their ass. You know what I'm saying? That way you can stay out the way and you just let God do his thing. Because just the other day, um, you know, I just, you know, out of the blue, I just forgave it. I just let, you know, walked away. Because it was like this. It's like, um, essentially what I did was, you know, I just forgave it, you know. And 10 minutes later, next thing I know, it was nothing but spiritual attacks coming from left and right. And I'm just like, okay, so... You don't want to go through this spiritual warfare. You don't want to, I mean, 
you don't want to go through the karma that God has in store for you. You don't want to take responsibility for what you did. You're still bitter. You're still mad. And that was your doorway to walk away right there. You know what I'm saying? Because that was, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, a part of the spiritual warfare sometimes is that you leave an opening for your enemy to leave if they choose to. At least on our side, we do. You know what I'm saying? We don't surround our enemy on all sides and harass them. You know what I'm saying? Because what happens is you make a way for multiple doors to open up. And then, you know what I'm saying? It changes the whole vibe. Remember, that's the whole concept of yin and yang. The yin symbol or the yang symbol, if you notice why it's all black or all white, let's say the one that's white with the black circle, it's all white surrounding one small black dot, right? Well, inside that black dot, it's all black and it's surrounding one white dot. You see what I'm saying? So those are eternal doorways. That creates eternal doorways for other things to manifest. That's why, you know, some spiritual warfare, you know, you leave them, uh, you leave them the option to retreat or back up or leave the situation or whatever. You know, it's not always good to surround them on all sides and, you know, just eliminate them unless they just blat unless they blatantly refuse to walk away. If they blatantly refuse to walk away, there's nothing you can do about it. You have to go through with everything, right? That's why we have this 1010 energy up here. We got this 10 of cups and we got this uh, will of fortune here, which is marked by that number 10, right? Yeah, there's going to be a change of some stuff. They're still trying to take shit away from you. There's a, uh, you know, if they were getting happiness and shit like that out of this or whatever. There's going to be a change in that. If they were making money off the stuff that they were doing, there's going to be a change in that. The new path that's coming in, they're going to be codependent. If they were independent, they're going to codependent now. Somebody isn't going to be able to uh, to be a, they aren't going to be able to uh, live without somebody else from this day forward is what I'm seeing here. You're going to they're always going to be codependent no matter what they do. They're going to always have to depend on someone to survive from this day forward. And not only that, they're always going to be caught up in illusions and stuff like that, which means that no matter what they do, um, well, what I'm hearing and it very well could be from the person who's doing the spiritual warfare. No matter what they do, it's not, no matter what they work hard at, it never comes into fruition. It never comes into fruition, right? Uh, and un incapable of com uh, completing what they do, right? Oh. Last but not least, you got the devil. <clears throat> yeah. Somebody's trying, basically, like I said, they're trying to, uh, basically chain themselves to you essentially you know with this devil energy out here they're just trying to chain themselves to you trying to chain themselves to anything to keep themselves from going down but it's over i mean it's, it's pretty much over you can't accomplish anything that you set out to do and you are codependent on people um you know if you, if you look like they're trying to put the end to some kind of addiction um i've heard readers talk about somebody being addicted to doing spell work and stuff like that um, maybe this is the circumstance situation, but what I'm seeing here truly and truthfully is that, um, yeah, this isn't going to end nicely. You know, somebody's heading towards some, something that they should have just left alone. They should have just left it alone. Yeah. You got the judgment card out here. This is a uh, karma. Karma is out here somebody is already feeling the heat of karma uh breathing on their neck so all this time they were talking about they don't believe in karma they don't believe in this they don't believe in that well somebody is definitely out here believing in that shit now there's no way all this all this shit could be going wrong in their life at one time and that's exactly what's going on right now somebody is uh going through some tough karma right got the ten of pentacles out here with a reverse yeah whoever they are their goal is it's like you got the ten of pentacles in reverse uh basically whoever this is that's going through karma they're going to be working hard for the rest of their life they could have had abundance at some point but now nah, imagine that you work it hard for the rest of your life or you're having this life where you have to work exceptionally hard and you're always and you're codependent on people at the same time that means it's going to be a struggle for you to get ahead. 
it's, it's always going to be a struggle. Somebody just enlisted themselves in a continuous struggle when it did not have to be this way. You know what I'm saying? Next, we got the justice card here. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, they may feel like uh, they're getting justice or something. They may feel like that they are justice or they may feel like that they are, uh, you know, just in what they did. This is somebody who's trying to justify or trying to, uh, yeah, basically trying to justify what they did. And what the vibe I get with this justification card is basically like, it's kind of like you basically, like say if you was in school and a bully comes up to you and just hits you for no reason and just fucks with you all day, every day, right? You go to the principal office, you guys get into a fight, you go to the principal's office. And before you go to the principal office, the bully pretty much just look up all the most dark fucked up shit that they could find on you right and then they just uh just basically get to in front of the principal and they just talk about well he skipped school he this he that he that or she this and she that and they just start you know what i'm saying trying to blackmail you on a whole bunch of shit right and that's exactly what's going on here somebody feel like that they should be the that they should be your justice or your karma right but this whole time while you're trying to judge other people judgment is being passed on you so basically somebody is happy that they're being judged or that judgment is being passed on them and they want to uh you know pretty much kick the cat blame somebody else see they can't fight with god if god was here physically on earth they probably would go to god to try to physically try to fight god you see what i'm saying but since he's not here What's well, the next best? The representative. It's kind of like trying to fight the host at a, at a party. You know what I'm saying? Because the person who threw the party isn't there, you know? Or something like that. Whatever. Anyway, let's see what the reality situation is. The reality situation is that somebody just lost somebody. Somebody's in pain. Somebody's hurt. That's what this is all about. Somebody hurt. Somebody is really hurt. Somebody is really, really fucking hurt. Well, I don't mean take it out on other people. Like, anything. That just mean, like... Uh, it just don't mean take it out on other people. I feel like that. Let's see what we don't see happening in the situation. So, it looks like some communication is getting ready to come in. You got the Queen of Wands here. And you got the Three of, three of uh, Wands. I mean, Three of Swords in reverse here. Yeah. Um, this witch is getting ready to come in and try to try to get some healing energy from you. Whoever this witch is, she's getting ready to come in and try to heal some insight. Either try to heal something with you, or try to try to uh, compromise with you, right? With this three of wands out here in reverse, the world card in reverse, and the eight of cups here. Yeah, you're you're being directed to let this shit go because there's still some alternative motive here. This person is saying peace, but they're really trying, coming in to try to uh, mess up your plans, right? And to keep you from initiating them in cycle. They're trying to hold you back in a cycle. So you're being told to just walk away. This witch is, that was the plan. The witch was going to come in. She was going to try to, that's probably why the, the spell work was coming in like it was coming in, where this person was going to try to hide behind, they were going to, uh, try to block your intuition and block off your spiritual gifts and shit like that so that they could come in and try to make amends with you in some kind of way so you wouldn't know who this person actually was. Yeah. Black, yeah, with the magician and card in reverse. That's some black magic that's going on here. And that's somebody that's homeless right here. So all her spells, whoever this witch is that was hired against you, all her spells is backfiring and she's homeless. She ain't got no fucking where to go. How the fuck you a homeless bitch and you trying to do magic? Look at this shit. You, you see what I'm saying? You a witch, but you broke? That don't add up. If you truly are, if you truly are uh, a prophetess, a prophet, uh, a witch, warlock, there's no reason why you are homeless and broke. There should be no reason. None things happen to people all the time but you not having money is not good you know why because you'll take on anything 
which means the devil can sequester you at any time to do whatever his bidding is. You know what I'm saying? Like and you will, and you will never turn it down. You know what that give me the vibe of? That give me the vibe of this us uh, this um uh, like in the trucker industry, you got three types of workers here. You got the company driver, you got the lease to own driver, and you got the owner operator, right? Company driver, no matter what happened, they getting they cut no matter what, right? But you don't make as much, right, as like lease to own. Excuse me, lease to own, you have more control over what you do, but you still don't have too much control. It's like what if you make a whole lot more money, but you're responsible for a whole more bunch more stuff, right? And then the owner operator is the person who make the most because they own everything that they have, and so they make the most money, right? Well, this give me the vibe of like a lease to own person, where it's like uh, basically with lease to own, they tell you you can you know you pretty much your own boss and all this other stuff. You make more money and all this other stuff. But when you have responsibilities like taking care of like your truck, your truck fees and stuff like that, if your fees are are really high, then as you can tell, gas prices are high right now too. So a lot of your your fees are gonna a lot of the fees and stuff is gonna be you know really high, right? Now with those with that with the prices going up, that means that uh, there's less profit for you to enjoy. Which means that, yes, you can be home every week if you want to, but if you are at home every week, there's a chance that you're going to be, you know, in the hole, which means, like, you ain't going to be able to afford that truck, which means that, you know, you're going to end up, you know, having to owe the, the people who you got the truck from or who you borrow on the truck from. So, essentially, lease to own is nice, but the thing is, is that it, you can't take as many days off as if you were a company driver or an owner-operator. And that's exactly what's going on with this witch right here. She can turn down spell work, but at this point, I don't think she's gonna turn anything down. And even, you know, and then you got this magician card right here. This is black magic that's backfiring. That is not just black magic, but it's it's just a lot of, it's, it's she's blocked. Whoever this, he or she, it doesn't matter. This feminine energy is blocked. And they're out in the cold. They don't have nowhere to go. Look at that. They could be even be facing death. Look at that. Uh, Scorpio could be involved. Uh, uh, another earth sign could be involved. But somebody is losing their mind here. Somebody is definitely losing their mind. Somebody's mental health is going down. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's mental health is going down. Somebody could also be dying too. Or dying. I'm seeing a death car here. Transformation. Uh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the two of swords here. Yeah, in reverse. Yeah, this is a lot of dark energy here, man. Yeah, this Queen of Pentacles, that means that, you know, a lot of times with Queen of Pentacles, that's uh, the energy of, uh, you know, using, abusing your resources to do different stuff or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like if you do have money, abusing your money. You know what I'm saying? Or using it in, 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 in ways to convert, coerce people to do what do your bidding. So there could be a Scorpio out here who's paying people to do different fucked up shit. But that's not really the vibe that I'm getting here. The vibe I'm really getting here is that um, there's definitely somebody who passed. That's death energy here. You know? And with this death energy here, it could be a, a earth sign. Or, you know, they could be in like a mental prison or something like that. Where it's like they, their mind isn't working right or something like that. You know? And this is all because of spell work. This is all because of fucking spell work. You got the uh, the seven of pentacles in reverse. You got the four of cups in reverse. And you got the six of cups in the upright. Yeah. Somebody is definitely out here. Um, like maybe because their magic isn't working. They're trying to manifest now. Is the vibe I'm getting here. Like somebody's trying to learn how to manifest. Because, you know, the magic and stuff that they normally do. Like, you know, the hocus pocus shit that they normally do. Is not giving them the results that they want. You see what I'm saying? So somebody could be trying to combine both here. Right? But essentially here, you know, somebody is it's like. 
they, whoever this witch is, the fruits of her labor isn't coming into fruition here. And it's because, you know, I'll put it like this. There's some block manifestations here and it's basically because somebody wasn't focusing on themselves. And it has to do with something about their childhood. It has to do with like childhood wounded possibly. But the overall vibe that I'm getting from this is that um, the more that they, you know, that they were focusing on you, the more that it was like blocked. But now they're trying to pretend like their face focusing on them. You see what I'm saying? It, that's the vibe I'm getting here is that somebody is now trying to focus on themselves. And they're trying to figure out why they're still blocked or, you know, this uh, six of cup energy. It gave me the vibe of, uh, you know, some kind of. I don't know, some kind of childlike energy or something. Let's see what that's about. Yeah. Some kind of block, something about a block manifestation or something like that. And focusing on himself. Yeah, somebody doesn't want somebody to start over with a, in a home situation. Somebody's trying to keep somebody from starting over or uh, trying to uh, trying to bully somebody in about, you know, starting over or leaving or something of that nature. Trying to make somebody uh, st stay in a house in a household with them. And it's probably that witch, too. It's probably it's probably that witch. She probably can't take care of herself is what's going on. And that's probably what it is. They can't take care of themselves. And so they need, they, they doing spell work on people to stay in relationships and shit like that. Like putting spell work over the kids to get the kids to like her, him or her. Doing spell work over the spouse and the spouse's family and shit like that to get them to stay and like her. And trying to find out people who's closest to the person that they want to keep and put spell work over them to make them like them. So they, everybody involved is just and all nice and shit about them and shit and when this person act the fuck out the person who they, you know did all this shit that they've been trying to hold on to everybody looking at them like they fucking crazy or some shit you know what I'm saying looking at them like they fucking crazy but they not fucking crazy you're not fucking crazy it's, it's, it's this batshit crazy motherfucker who poisoned every fucking body around you and then when you tell everybody about it they just like oh man crazy you crazy okay motherfucker just wait because this veil that they got set up is getting ready to break and motherfuckers gonna wake up like man where the fuck was i what the fuck was going on why would i tolerate that bullshit you know how our family get down why would i tolerate that bullshit that's gonna be the question why did i tolerate that bullshit you know let's put some cards on that ancestors what's gonna happen when they wake up Let's find out about this family that I need to wake up. You got the Knight of Cups in reverse. You got the Knight of Swords in reverse. And you got the uh, the Chariot out here. Yeah, they're going to find out all about these lies and shit that this person was living. This person was living a lie. They're going to lose love and respect for this person because this person was living a lie. You see what I'm saying? They're going to lose respect for this person. Yeah, they're, they're going to lose the love. They're going to lose, res you know what I'm saying? The respect for this motherfucker. And this isn't gonna this is gonna be happening quick too. This ain't no this ain't no one day shit. This is like every day. I mean this is just gonna be like suddenly. This some suddenly shit. That's what that's where everything is heading towards right now. You know what I'm saying? And you got this motherfucker out here who's all depressed, stuck in their mind. Yeah, because the person who the, the the person who did the spell work and shit, they trapped in their mind. Or they will be trapped in their mind. They're going to be stuck in their head about what they did. You see what I'm saying? With this five of swords, five of cups out here, and then seven of cups in reverse. Yeah, they're going. somebody is getting ready to go into a depression that's really going to fuck their head up. It's really going to fuck their head up, and that's going to be the beginning of their cycle. That's a whole cycle right there. Yeah. They could have been, yep. And you know what? That served them right. You know why? Because karma is all here. Remember justice in reverse? And I was saying that whatever spell work that people have been doing over you and your family, it's going to come out and it's going to manifest this way itself and into their lives. So if they were manifesting 
uh, you breaking up with your husband or your wife, you're going to notice that they're going to break up with their husband and wives. They're going to be going through divorces and shit like that. If you notice that a motherfucker in your circle start losing all kind of money, there's a chance that that person was doing evil eye on you, wishing you lose money and shit like that. Whatever spell work people or whatever energy people been sending out here, it's getting ready to manifest back into, it's getting ready to come out. Projected energy that's projected as well. Because in order to project the energy, you have to live in that energy first before you project it out. So yes, everything is coming out. If they were hurting kids, if they were doing fucked up shit to the kids, putting shit in the kids' food, shit like that, that's going to come out too. That's going to come out too. They've been poisoning kids. They've been, you know, trying to whooping on one kid over all the other, having favoritism of one child or other certain child over the other. You know what I'm saying? Because there, I, I got that vibe too that there's a woman out here who show favoritism to the kids based off what the baby daddy give the kid give her. So if the baby daddy is real good to her, she treat that kid real nice and good. But the one who baby daddy don't have much to offer, she treating them like shit. No, no, that ain't working. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. It's a lot of shit going on. My ancestors have a lot to fucking say today. I don't get it. You got a Virgo and a, and a Leo out here. Virgo and Leo energy out here. Leo Virgo Cusper. That's what I'm seeing here. Leo Virgo Cusper, an August baby. Yeah, I see an August baby out here. An August baby that, that was betrayed. A, a Virgo Leo, a Virgo Leo uh, August baby that was betrayed. Okay? Somebody, either they betrayed somebody or they were betrayed by somebody out here. And they starting to recover. Whoever this person is, they recover. Yeah, you been told to trust your intuition. Your intuition is telling you to recover yourself and gain your strength back. Take your power back. Whoever this is, it's time for you to take your power back. That's why we have the Virgo and the Leo energy. The Virgo and the Leo energy. This is the second house, and then this is the. Um, this has to. This has to do with uh, strength. The sun, which is gonna be like uh, what the fifth house. That's fifth house, second and fifth house energy, right? That's about creativity and possessions. Yeah, your um, your high priestess, this high priestess out here, I know this is a jump, but this has to do with you following your middle pillar here, okay? If you don't know anything about Kabbalist, uh, Kab uh, Kabbalah, I suggest you look at the middle pillar, okay? Check out the middle pillar because that middle pillar right there, it's what is going to uh, protect you from... Um, it's gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna be you calling back your energy because of, you know, because of what they did here. Whoever this person was, looked like they were trying to steal your energy or something like that. Let's see what else we got. Yeah. Ugh. Ooh. You got the two ones out here, the four swords in reverse, and the nine of, nine of cups in reverse. So this definitely give me the vibe of uh, maybe you meeting someone new, starting a new journey or something like that. Somebody, you know what I'm saying? Somebody is getting ready to start a new journey. Somebody is getting ready to blow up here. But somebody else is really worried about that, and they're not happy. Because they know that you finna go meet somebody new. Somebody, you know, whoever this witch or whoever this person is, they don't want you to meet somebody now. They want you to stay where you are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Also, they just took whoever this person is. They could have, or you know, and it could be multiple people too. Because I know that there is multiple, you know, some people, sometimes people like this, if they are cowardice enough, to do like um, spells over kids to get them to like them and shit like that, they'll pretty much do anything. But what I'm seeing here is that there's a King of Pinnacle energy out here with the Eight of, Eight of Swords in reverse and the Six of Wands in reverse here. They are trying to uh, defame or uh, talk shit about a King of Pinnacles out here. Be and it's all because this person got free. 
Uh, they, whoever, whoever you were dealing with, whoever, I don't know who this is for, but you were dealing with somebody who is uh, a king, like a, a jack of all trades here, as the vibe that I'm getting here. They have this ability of uh, knowing how to make money out of nothing or how to come up out of nothing, okay? They have a way of working with the earth, okay? Or this could just be like the general energy of like this, the wisdom of knowing how to ground things out and to make things work in your favor in order to, you know, prosper, right? This is somebody who's in tuned with the earth, okay? Whoever they are, or whoever this person is for you, they they walked away from something. They uh they um somehow they got a loose out of something. They freed themselves from something here, and because they freed themselves of something, somebody here didn't like that. So what they did was they was trying to talk talk ill about this person. So somebody they it's like they tried to uh, talk down on them, try to uh, defame them, try to make them look bad, try to make their character look bad. And then, but essentially what it was is that the spell work broke. Remember I told you that when they can't, whoever this is, when they can't affect you in the 5D, they'll try to bring that shit to the 3D to fuck with you, right? That's exactly what happened here. That's exactly the strategy that they did. That's how you know that there's a desperation. That's how you know there's a weakening in the forces. There's a weakening in their spirit. They are falling. This stronghold is coming down. It's coming down. And I can, t I can tell that the stronghold is coming down. Yep. Oh yeah. There, there's, there's a lot of panicking energy. Somebody is panicking. Somebody is in terror. There's, they surpassed the spirit of fear. The spirit of terror is upon them. All because they've been, and that's the reason why they brought this shit from the 5D to the 3D. The war that they were, remember, and see, that was the whole goal here. I mean, not the goal. This was an unorthodox plan. They they knew it would, I mean, you probably knew that it was going to happen. Matter of fact, I was telling you guys that this was this what would happen, that they were going to stop fighting in the, in the 5D and try to bring them to the 3D. This is the beginning of that. Because remember I said when you're fighting with a narcissist, the first thing that they have to do before they can come and touch you or do anything to you is they have to defame you and turn people around you against you. You see what I'm saying? They started that. And it's all because you freed yourself from the bullshit spell work that they've done. That's why. That's why. Things aren't going in their favor in the spiritual realm and they're panicking. Somebody is in terror of that shit. Probably because they're going to be left out in the fucking cold. They're going to be eating hot dogs. Well, I don't even know about that. I don't know. You know? Mm -hmm. Woo! My ancestors is lit. Boy, let me get some water. Lord. Lord. Man. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what else they got to say. They got a whole lot of shit to say today. I had a cousin come to me today that never come to me, never say anything to me. Because when he was, you know, he was a, he was older than me before, you know, when he passed or whatever. But uh, he never, he, you know, we, I will always, I'll speak to him and stuff like that. But, you know, he, today he came to me. And, you know, I'm guessing that's whose energy is out here today. I got the Seven of Swords in reverse. You got the Eight of Pentacles. And you got the Ace of Cups out here. Yeah, okay. So, I'm, let me see here. So, now that that person has gotten freed themselves, this, this is another tactic here. The next tactic has to do with uh, your confidence. Okay. Whoever this is, they, they want you, they're, they're getting ready to try it, or they are, or they want to attack your confidence here. They want you to work super hard at something that normally comes easy. They want you to work super hard at the things that you love to do. And, you know, because a lot of times is that, you know, when we get caught up in a muse or we're doing something that we love, it's like it, had, it flows so easily. Everything just come together. We're effortless, right? Because that person is bitter and they can't do what you do, they want it to be hard for you, so they're trying to um, deceive you into uh, doubting yourself. 
okay? So at this time, that's the reason why it's important not to doubt yourself and do things that you love. Like a lot of times when it comes to doing stuff that you love, everything comes together. You don't have to be tedious about the work that you do, okay? When it comes to what you love, you and all that tedious and, oh, it has to be done this way. Like, especially if you're doing manifestations and stuff, all that, it has to be on a Monday at three o'clock, 3.15 in the afternoon on a, you know, all of that. No, for you, no. For them, it's something different, right? But yeah, they want to uh, fuck up with your fuck with your confidence, and it looked like somebody might even be trying to come in to negotiate with you too. That's the vibe that I'm getting here. Somebody wants to come in and talk to you about some stuff, and they want to talk to you about uh, probably even want to work with you or something like that. Yeah, somebody wants to. This is somebody who probably want to work hard with you. Let me see. Let me pull. Let me pull some cards on that. Okay. Yeah. So you got the eight of swords out here, eight of wands out here. You got the star card, and you got the the nine of wands in reverse. Eight of wands in reverse, the nine of wands in reverse, and the star card. So, uh, yeah, uh, basically, like I said, they're trying to block your innovation here to make it where you don't trust your own, where, you know what I'm saying? Somebody's definitely trying to, uh, delay or hold back, hold you back because they know that it's going to, whatever you're working on, it's going to blow up that it's, 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 that's, that's what the world needs. You're creating something that has a need in this world. You see what I'm saying? And you got this nine of wands in reverse here. So yeah, so definitely uh, trust yourself with this, and you know don't don't just uh, don't overthink it. Okay. Whatever you're working on, you know. Yeah, yeah. And that that's possibly another reason too why they don't you know why this person was doing that because they know that you're working on something really good, and they wish that they had a thought of something like this. You know what I'm saying? But you probably would have somebody, you would, would have thought of something like this or even better had you not been trying to go to war with people. You know what I'm saying? You're not trying to understand your gifts. You're not under, trying, to stand, you're trying to understand your chakras. You're not doing meditation. You know, med, you're not trying to meditate and all that other shit and be better than who you were yesterday. You're trying to compete with this world when in reality, the only person you need to compete with is yourself. The, the person that you was yesterday. That's who you need to compete with. When was the last time you competed with that person? No, probably never, because you didn't think about it till I just said the shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I ain't trying to compete. I don't compete with people. Only person I'm trying to compete with is myself. And even then, I'm not finna compete, just be out here competing and shit like that. I don't, no, after a while, you just get too old for that shit. Trying to be up, one up people all the fucking time. Thinking that that's the way to success. No, that's the way to crab in a bucket mentality. Because you're going to always think that you have to sabotage somebody to do, outdo them to make yourself feel better. You know what I'm saying? And you may, you know, both of y'all may just be at the at the bottom. You know? You got the Empress in reverse here. Yeah, somebody just feel like they're entitled to everything. This is somebody who's spoiled. They they just want every fucking thing. They want everything to go their way. They want people to bow down to them. They want, they want people to respect them. But you don't give people shit to respect about you. Let's be real. You don't give motherfucking shit to respect about you. What what do what what do you want us to respect about you? Having a loud voice and yelling and barking orders? Is that what it is? It don't it don't take anything to yell and bark orders at, at people. You don't do shit of sustenance. And when you do do shit of sustenance, it's not coming from a heart space. You doing that so you can control people to make yourself feel better about yourself. You see what I'm saying? You want people to love and adore you, but you hard to love yourself. You're a hard motherfucker to love. You, you so fuck, it's so fucking hard to love you that you can't even love your fucking self, which is why you trying to get other people to love you. If you respected yourself, then why the fuck other people's respect for you is important? Because you don't respect yourself. 
You don't love or respect yourself, but you want other people to do that. You want to be seen in a certain kind of light. You want motherfuckers to bow down and, and bring all kind of shit to you and, and cater to you and make you feel good about yourself when you out here doing all kind of fucked up shit. No, this is the real motherfucking world. If you want that fucking love, go to your daddy. Get it from your daddy, get it from your fucking mama. Right? This is the real fucking world. Somebody need to wake up to that shit. I don't know who the fuck that was for, but you need to wake the fuck up. And, all this, and some of the shit that you try to give advice on, you're not even 100% with people. You're looking for ways to get over on people. You, you want to you wanna know people's weaknesses and shit like that so you can exploit them later. Look at that justice card out here. That's that Libra energy. Look at this. This is all Libra energy right here. The Empress and the Justice card. The Empress has to do, generally, that has to do with uh, Venus, right? The the planets associated with Venus would be like um, Taurus and Libra, right? Then you have the Justice card out here. That's another Libra card out here. So, yeah, this, this could be an air sign. This could be a uh, Libra. This could be for a Libra, or you could be a Libra hearing this shit and it resonates. One of the two. But whoever this person is, this Empress in Reverse, Justice is here. Justice is on your ass like 5 to 11, like white on rice. I don't give a fuck what you want or what you think. It don't matter who you run to. You can run to whatever, whatever witch doctor, or whoever you fuck you want, you feel like going to try to save you, you can run to Jesus right now. And Jesus is going to say, well, you still need to go through this karma. And you still going to go through it. You still going to go through it. You can repent all you want right now. You still going through that karma first. Look at that. Eight of, eight of wands out here. Yeah. Yeah. So there, there could have been um, some kind of justice is coming in quick. Like I just said. With that eight of wands out here. Yeah. Yeah. This empress got some... Man, I don't know what the fuck they were. Oh, shit. I don't want to know. It's coming in fast. That's all I got to say. Look at this. Five of the wines out here. And while this is happening, you got a whole lot of people fighting each other. While this is happening, this person is doing conflict spells or trying to keep conflict and confusion going. Knowing that this justice is coming in. It's coming in fast, too. This emperor card in reverse. You know what this is right here? This is Aries. Look at this. And that's weird because you got Libra and Aries are polar opposites. You see what I'm saying? They are they are what you call the dyad. Whereas Aries is like the um the mask, well, will be masculine, but Aries is really like the feminine fire. And Libra is the masculine, um, the masculine um air. And they nor they generally complement each other, right? But in this circumstance, when you look on a NATO chart, they are opposite of each other. You got Libra and Aries across from each other. So yeah, you got somebody out here. There's there's somebody who's trying to continue to fight. That that's all this is about. Somebody's is still trying to fight, trying to go down fighting or something like that. Um, with this uh um uh, this um uh, Emperor in Reverse card. This emperor in reverse has to do with somebody who wants to uh, not just have their way like the empress in reverse, but this could be a karmic male, karmic masculine. This is a kin. You got a Karen and a kin out here. Yeah. And you got this four of wands out here. Yes, it's man. So you got a karmic masculine out here fighting for a home situation. This could be a hobosexual is what I'm seeing. I've been getting a lot of hobosexual information. Uh, hobosexual... Um, energies out here people fighting fighting to live in with homes and shit with people and shit like that you know what i'm saying which is wild because look you get look if you got kids look i'm gonna give them motherfuckers a freebie if you get if you got kids right and you've been getting those uh those checks for them kids every tax season right why not take that tax season money go get you a hood house it ain't gonna be much but it's yours. You ain't got to worry about getting kicked off the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? 
And then, you know, you you know, buy that pay pay cash for the motherfucker. And once you pay cash for it, or you could do a foreclosed home. Once you pay cash for it, that's it. You see what I'm saying? That's it. You ain't got to worry about getting kicked out unless you don't pay the taxes on the motherfucker. Simple as that. But instead, you got the, you you know, somebody out here trying to live with other people and shit like that, trying to force people to do it. You know, you got an empress out here who's, you know, going through justice or having, probably even having a court, in a court situation. That they're going to execute a decision on her really fast. And, and then you got this uh, emperor out here, this karmic masculine, who's still trying to fight people over a house or a home or a uh, 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 trying to fight people over uh yeah keep a conflict going in a in a home situation let me see here yeah hold on let me see something here i'm gonna clarify this uh emperor thing because yeah this is definitely somebody who is uh trying to just basically just trying to keep shit going on you know what i'm saying that's why I hate a motherfucker that can fight all fucking day, but you can't work worth the shit. That don't, man, I don't know. I don't know. Fuck that, dog. Yeah, we got the uh, Ten of Pentacles out here. We got the Judgment card, and we got the Eight of, eight of Cups. I mean, Eight of Pentacles out here. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody got some good karma out here because of... Uh, like this, this, uh, basically this, like I said, you got a Karen and a Ken out here that was trying to keep conflict and shit going in somebody's household or somebody's life or something like that. But the, what's going on here is that this person is affluent. It's like they got this generational, uh, wealth coming in. Uh, they're a hard worker here and they got good karma. Whoever this is, they got good karma. So that's what the conflict, like I said, that's what the conflict is about. It's just some hating ass motherfucker out here. Fake ass motherfuckers envy, basically. That's all that is. Fake ass motherfuckers envy. And that's why, you know, all that, I return to sender all that evil eye energy that, they, you know, people been sending towards my readings and, uh, you know what I'm saying? All that shit. Because you never know who's fucking watching you, plotting on you and shit like that. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's my reading for today. Uh, man, I hate to dump all that negative shit on y'all like that. You know, I really do. I really do. And it's not that y'all don't need to hear it. It's just that uh, I'm just tired of talking about the shit, honestly. I'm just tired of talking about the shit because it's like, it's the same, it's like same old shit, different toilet. Matter of fact, it's same shit, same toilet. That's exactly what it is. And some, you know, and, man, I don't know. Bro. I just know I'm over it, okay? All right, that's this video. Next video, we're going to do something a little more positive. Uh, all right, love y'all. Take it easy. Peace.